Uh, hi guys, Tony from Designs Digital here. Quick video to show you how to manage your new website. Okay, so this is the Reliever website. So first of all, uh, we, we need to look at how you're gonna update your ranks and how you're gonna uh, you know, know what, what sales each user's made and all the rest of it. So if you could log into your admin panel and go to the dashboard, and from there, um, on top right or here, Ultimate Affiliate Pro, or here, down the bottom on the left-hand side, Ultimate Affiliate Pro. If you would uh, click this link, this will take you to the dashboard. From the dashboard, what we need to look at is the actual sales, the actual referrals that have been made by your partners. So if we click on here, we have a list of all the sales and all the referrals that have been made. Um, you can see the different fields we've got. So we've got the affiliate username, uh, the affiliate ID, or actually the sale ID, that's the actual individual um, affiliate reference. You got from, okay, so so what was this commission or what was this sale generated by? Uh, so was it by web sales? Uh, was it an MLM? Was it one of your team members? Or was it a bonus? Uh, you've got reference, okay, so if we click on the reference, that will take you to the actual sale. So for this one here, the web sales, this is one that I've put through and we can see that that's actually order number 750, which directly correlates with the reference number. This one under Gemma Jones, this is an MLM, so it's one of her team members has put something through for 20 pounds. Okay, um, what we've got here is uh, the status. So this is very important. So you only wanna pay out on uh, verified sales, or you only want verified sales to count towards your rank and to count towards your team members bonuses okay so we're going to go through each sale uh you're just going to check the validity validity of it and if you're happy you know that this is okay then you're going to mark it as verified okay if it's um something that you don't want to pay out on if it's a, a failed order or whatever it is uh, you can mark it as refused and then that will be forgotten about so that's that part um and actually we can use this to look up all sales by a user and for for a date period as well so we can put in um, all sales in October, apply that, and there'd be none. Excellent, none. If we go back to September, from the 1st of September to the 31st of September, and apply. There you go. There's all of September's history. Okay, so that is how to uh, validate your, your sales. Um, next, we need to look at how to know when to update someone's rank. So if we click on payments, what we find here is a line for each of your users, okay? And very simply, the two columns we're interested in is paid amount and unpaid amount. And basically, paid amount is lifetime sales, okay, that have counted towards their, uh, their monthly bonus or count it towards their rank. And the unpaid amount, okay, is basically the sales since it was last updated, okay. So if we look at uh, Kirstus here, um, we can see there's an amount of 42 pounds 50 here, okay. So in your user account, Kirstus, you will see if you log in and you go to your team sales sheet, okay, you will see you have uh, verified team sales here of. £42.50. So that is towards your bonus. If you want to pay this out, okay, let's say if this has reached £500, okay, and you're going to move them onto the next rank, so it's reached £500, we're just going to quickly, quickly click on pay all, okay, and you're just going to click on submit to pay that off, okay. And that's now marked as complete. That is now a completed payment, which basically is just letting you know that you've used it to count towards um, the bonus. Okay, so you can see in here, this has changed now. Paid amount, 42.50. And a paid amount, zero. Okay, you can view all, all historical transactions. Just gives you a nice tally. Okay, and it also tells you the date it was updated. This would be very handy if you're going to want to update it on a weekly basis. Now, just assuming that Kirst has had hit rank from her sales there. Um, if we go to actually look at her affiliate here. Use the filters on the right hand side. Uh, 
Here we go. Edit. You can change the rank, okay? That's it, really. Simple. Absolutely simple. Thanks for listening. Any questions, guys, as always, uh, drop me an email. I'll be happy to help.